everyone this is Amy welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you how to just make a very simple some might even call it like a hydrangea kind of a flower but it's really not a specific flower it's just more teaching you a design I'm going to be doing a number two and a number four a magic flat brush then I'm using three a magic round brushes I'm trying to remember the numbers I looked at these beforehand I am using a zero a two and a four and I do put the links down below if you want to purchase through my affiliate links a fine liner by Westonia and a dotting stylus paints I use are always folk folk art paints mixture of multi-surface and enamels I'm using violet pansy lavender and red violet then I'm also using wicker white evergreen thicket and moon yellow now I am taking a color it's the light lavender and I am mixing in some white just to get a background color but I just mixed in some white with it, brick or white, just to get a lighter background color to then put the petals of the flower on. So you can mix whatever color you want. If you want to use one of the three, you can do that. Or if you want to use a separate one like I did, that's up to you. So what I'm going to do is take this brush and just make a few I'm going to try to keep these relatively small, but if you know me, you know that that's a little challenging for me at times, so I like to paint big. And then I'm going to put one here, and this is just a base coat then to put the petals on top of. And keep in mind too, when you're painting, when you do it, a base coat that helps with the durability of your design because the thicker you put your paint on the more durable your design will be when you're painting on bottles it's not quite as important because it's not something like a drinking glass wine glass that type of thing where you're going to be picking it up and handling it a lot while you're drinking out of it this is more just a home decor piece that will sit unless you're putting it outside then you're going to want to make sure that it is durable and then coated with some varnish. All right, well, I've got a good coverage there. Put that brush aside. Then I'm going to start with my zero. And I like to use three colors when I'm doing this, this design. I'm just going to stick it into the lightest of the three colors, which this would be the lavender. And I'm trying to move my plate where I can just easily do this. Sorry, all the clinging and clinging. Okay, so I'm just doing quick little strokes with the brush. Very simple. And I will keep doing these. I like to start with the lighter color on top. You can do do these however you want, whatever order you want, and that's up to you. And yes, the base is coming into the, the mix, which is fine. Not a problem. And I like to just kind of put some petals outside of the circle. I don't want it just to be a perfectly round circle, but I like it to you know, have some other texture to it besides being a round circle. Then I'm going to come back through with some light and just go over the petals. And you can see how simple this is, and I should have done all three of them. Hello. I'm goofy at times. They don't all have to have white. You can leave some of them just straight, straight lavender. So 
solely up to you. All right, so I'm gonna go back to my lavender and then just start again. Come on out from the flat, the circle. any questions or comments while I'm doing this or after you view the video I should say actually um, please place those down below the video I'd love to hear from you And I am going to go ahead and proceed over to this one before I put the white in. That's what I should have done to begin with, but it's okay. If you're new to my channel, please um, understand that my designs are intended to be simple for the beginning painter just to give you some ideas of what you can do on, on glass or actually in my designs can be painted on any surface. Doesn't have to be glass. I just like to do it on glass. I like to paint on glass. So now I'm just going to kind of scrape that off a little bit and then come back through and put my whites in. And just making it very, very simple. If you're an experienced painter and you want to just use my designs as a inspiration, that's fine as well main thing I want to get through to people is to relax, have fun, and be creative. And don't be afraid to be creative. Because the thing of it is with this, all you have to do is wash it off if you don't like it. And start again, or practice on some wax paper. So I'm going to set this brush aside, pick up the next one, which is the number two. I want to make sure that I've got the number two. All right, I'm going to dip it into the next color, which is the Violet Pansy. And then I'm just going to begin just kind of sticking them in, oops, wherever I can fit them in. And I want to... You know kind of come up into this mix a little bit and then come down from there just so that it's kind of a little mixture It just takes a little bit of time to do all this so I'm sorry not trying to bore anybody but it just does and I'm gonna come down here with some of this color just to kind of intermix it a little bit I am NOT going to you 
you know, I don't want it to be like a straight line that I have this color, that color, and perfectly straight line. That's why I'm kind of intermixing them. But then, And I don't want it a straight line across. Yeah, you know, that's the thing. And make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell before leaving. I would greatly appreciate that. This is just such a simple, simple design to create. All right, going to stick it into the white. Do the same thing I just did before. Just very loose, very loose design. And you can just look back at it and see you know, where do I need to stick some white. And you, when you put in the centers, it doesn't have to be perfect by any means. I know my paintings are not perfect at all. Not intended to be either. And you can have some of the background color showing. I'm not trying to completely cover that up. Doesn't It doesn't matter. I hope you like this. These, these are so easy. But I hope you're trying them at home. Put on some fun music and just relax. Have a good time. Next one I'm using is the number four. I'm going to go into the... I always forget these names. The red violet. Oops. I got a lot of paint on that one. I'm not that big. All right, so I'm just going to come in, just kind of, again, come up in here a little bit because I don't want it to have that straight line across. And I am a lefty, so hopefully I'm not covering up my design as I'm doing it. And if I do, I do apologize. All right, so I'm gonna just keep going here. Because unfortunately, it does take some time to do this design. And honestly, when you're making this, you don't have to have the brush going in the same direction all the time. Meaning that I can do this with, you know, like a brush here, brush stroke here, Brush start going down, that's fine too. I'm gonna put that up in here, up in there a little bit. All right, gonna scrape that off a little bit, go into my whites, do what I just was doing on the other ones. There you go. And you can just see how simple, simple, simple. And you could do it all with one color too. If you don't have to do separate colors, but I like to have more of the graduated looking uh, design the colors.
All right, and there you go. Now I'm gonna take my liner brush and stick it into my greens. That would be the thicket and the evergreen. And I'm going to then draw in, paint in my stem. And yes, these are all gonna be hooked to the same stem. Now the greens that I chose are all kind of dark. I'm gonna pull my stem out this direction. And I will, I'm gonna throw some yellow in this here in a second. And I'm actually gonna put that down for a minute, go over to my number four flat brush put it into the greens and put a little bit of yellow into it. This is where, you know, a lot of times I use, or in the past I've used my flat brush and I turned on the chisel edge to make my stems because you can make the thicker stems easy. You know, with this brush, just kind of pull it down. And with this design, I am intending to have a thicker, a thicker stem than what I typically paint on a lot of my other designs. And I just put the colors, you can put them all on the brush at the same time, or just keep picking up the additional colors as you go, which is kind of what I'm doing. I've done a little bit of both on this. And I want the yellow in there. Of course, when you see this, you're gonna know that it is thick and it is gonna have good coverage. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is start doing my leaves. And this is where it helps if you know like some basic leaf designs, which I typically am using this basic design. And on this one, I am going to try to have some different colors and pay attention to where like the light source might be hitting them. If that makes sense. That's why I put the yellow up here. And if you don't wanna do that, that's not a problem. Just do your leaves. Now I'm going to come over here and come down. And again, just make sure I've got some good coverage. Put all the greens in here and then hit it with some yellow. And I'm thinking the yellow is going to go like right about here. All right, and then let's see, I wanna probably tip one over this way. Even though it's going off the, the edge of the bottle, we can still see that there's uh, a leaf here. There's writing on the bottle. This is a Jägermeister bottle. And again, putting all these colors together, you're, you're adding some good coverage. And you're blending. You know, and if you think maybe only part of it would have some sunlight on it, that's fine. There we go. And then let's go and do like one like this. And you can have it coming up through the flower and yes it's going to pull it's going to pull some of the purple of course it is not a problem though i'll put some yellow up here 
Now think of it as in a real floral arrangement. Remember, not everything's going to be perfectly lined up. You're going to have leaves and other flowers covering up, only partially partially showing your your all of the full view of the flowers that you have in your your design. Or your real floral bundle. All right, and let's add one more. Let's do one more. Let's go up this direction. Just pull it down. I mean, you could do one stroke on this very easily. I'm just wanting to do this type of painting. So however you want to do it, it's up to you. Good with me and up to you. Now I know this is a little bit longer painting than what I normally do. Okay, I'm gonna lighten this up again a little bit more. Just make it like right in here. Got some yellow sunlight hitting it. And you can keep working with this till it's completely flat, or you can leave a little texture to it up to you. The next thing I do is take my fine liner. It's going to be a little stiff because it's been sitting, but I'm just going to come back in here and throw in a little vein. I could do more and, you know, do some, you know, that go like this, but I'm just going to leave it just with a single, whoops, that one totally went the wrong direction here. Let me just scrape all that off. You can easily fix it up and go back over it if you need to, but I think it's fine. All right, almost finished. Appreciate you sticking with me. The last thing we're going to do is put in a little bit of yellow in the centers of where we think these flowers are. As far as, you know, it's kind of a mixture here. I just put them in. I don't even really care if it's really the center of an actual flower. Because when you do it like this, it's kind of hard to tell. I just basically want it to look, to look good when you stand back and take a look at it. If you want the precision, go for it. I don't really care about that, so I'm more into the loose. Let's do it kind of thing. Very quick and easy. I mean, actually, this design's not as quick as some of my other ones, as I said, but that's okay because you... And do this since it's simple it's just a little time consuming because of the steps and again with some of my glare I have it's kind of hard for me to see all this but I'm just filling in the best I can all right I hope you like this very easy if you do make sure you give me a big thumbs up new to my channel please subscribe and hit that notification bell and prior to leaving, if you would take a moment to share this on your social network with your family and friends, I would greatly appreciate that. Until the next time, please stay safe and healthy, and you have a good one.